Micronuclei are formed when a cell attempts to divide. Ideally, that genetic material will be equally separated between those two cells. If there's a problem, so if that DNA has been damaged, then some of that DNA can get left behind. It sort of forms its own little baby nucleus. Micronuclei are the starting point for these inflammatory cascades that can affect the way patients respond to chemotherapeutics and to radiotherapy. Several years ago, we discovered that those micronuclei can be detected as if they were a virus within the cell, and they set off this large inflammatory cascade. Micronuclei recruit up a specific protein known as C-gas, and C-gas's typical job is to surveil the cell and to, to detect when a virus has infected that cell. So in the case of a cancer, a high dose of radiation will produce many micronuclei, and that can activate the immune system, so the immune system comes in and clears out that tumor. So in that way, radiation and the immune system can work together to eradicate a tumor effectively. The thing that we were really surprised by is that that does not happen 100% of the time. Our work was really to figure out which characteristics of the micronuclei themselves were going to make it more likely for that inflammation to happen and for the cell to be killed. So I think a really important moment uh, in this work was born out of a collaboration we had with Cheryl Eilersmith where we screened about 50 different compounds that change the structure uh, within micronuclei. And at that point, we, we identified a very small group of, of modifications that were controlling sea gas localization. The thing that we were really surprised by is that it looks like these micronuclei have a history. Like the way that their DNA is packaged comes from the way that that DNA was packaged in the nucleus. In cells, DNA is packaged into what's known as chromatin. So this is a DNA protein mixture, primarily composed of something called histones. And histones have many, many different modifications that can occur on them that control almost everything that happens within a cell. And so depending on which modifications are on those histones, it determines whether or not sea gas will localize uh, to those micronuclei. Micronuclear signaling can tell you how different cell types are gonna to respond to radiation therapy, how cells in different phases of their life and how different people who have different environmental circumstances are gonna to respond to that therapy. Many drugs entering the clinic now that are altering the structure of chromatin and the structure of DNA and potentially the structure of what's inside a micronucleus. And so we're starting to believe now that depending on how those drugs are used in combination with, for example, radiation, we may modulate in some ways these micronuclei are sensed by the cell. And so combination drug therapies may either allow these inflammatory signatures to be elevated when we want it to be, or perhaps suppressed in situations where we no longer want those signals to be there.